when it comes to RB Cripsetter, Cripsetter is becoming is going to become a very important tool and very important to our strategy. I mentioned that with fewer and fewer campgrounds and more and more RVers, the need to have an online reservation system is going to become very, very important. And we think that the market is now ready, ready for that. And we think that the partnership between AGI and Digital Res is, is the right partnership because it allows RV campgrounds to have complete control over everything they do in terms of online reservations. We see TripSetter as, as a tool that we can embed across all of our RV-related websites, and we also see it as a tool that can be syndicated to any camping or RV-related website or anybody who wants to provide campground reservations to a, a customer database. So it's not something we just are thinking about in terms of the Trail Life and Woodall directories, but we're thinking about it in terms of all of our websites and then reaching out to a much greater universe and syndicating it to, to other people who want to provide that service. Uh, RV Trip Center solves that problem of too many people chasing uh, too few sites. Uh, it's the first thing that we've ever marketed, co-branded, between Trail Life and Woodall's. Woodall's was something that uh, AGI acquired a few years back when Linda was uh, in charge of the company. Uh, I don't think it's any secret to, to anybody here, especially to Linda and me, that you know, it was kind of like the Hatfields and the McCoys. And when they came in, it was sort of an interesting situation where you had two fierce competitors now under one roof. Uh, this is the first time we've ever co-branded anything, TL and Woodall's, and it's working out really beautifully. We have rep forces from both books out there trying to acquire parks. We had a goal of uh, getting about 200 parks to sign up before the end of the, this uh, calendar year. The way we do things is we have a big sales meeting, sales conferences for both books in January, and then we send our teams out into the field to uh, sell advertising and other products and services. So we really only have one shot a year to train them and to tell them what to do. So when we began doing Trip Center this year, we were kind of behind the curve because we didn't have the chance to go in there and, and tell our reps you know, what it was going to look like and what the final product was. When it became clear that we were going to have this up and ready before the end of the year, before the books closed, we sent out an email campaign to all of our uh, campground database, basically saying, if you want to be listed in the directory as being somebody who provides campground reservations to Trip Center, you need to respond now before a certain day. We sent this out before Labor Day weekend, before our ad closing date, so that we can get you in the book. And then we went away and we had our Labor Day holiday and came back. And we had over 250 responses on that Tuesday from campgrounds that wanted to be part of Trip Center. So, we are well ahead of our goal to have, we are surpassed 200, we're about at 300 now. And I think that once we go out in the field next year with the reps and everybody fully trained in how to explain how it works, that we will have at least 600 to 700 campgrounds on TripSetter by next year. TripSetter is the right solution for us because it allows campgrounds to have complete control over everything that they do with the reservation system. We really eliminated as many barriers as possible uh, as in terms of uh, inventory management and uh, uh, you know, we don't have requirements that they have to provide us with a, certain, with a certain amount of inventory. They can go in on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, change their rates, change their terms, change their business rules. It really provides a lot of control to them. And if it's one thing that I've learned in this industry, it's that RV campground owners like to have complete control over their business. They really don't want you all up in their business and knowing everything that there is to know. They want to have that control. And I think that's one of the reasons why this is kind of going to become so popular. So in summary, you know, the outlook is bright for the industry. I think it's important to understand your central logic, the reason why you're in business, what it is you're providing. Uh, you need to maintain 7 by 24 by 365 availability, uh, provide community tools, products, and services that are exhausted in quality and scope. And if you do, you'll reap the benefits in terms of uh, increased profits, uh, cost savings, and you'll be able to provide your customers with uh, the peace of mind that they, that they need in that fun and carefree 